nonsense. Now, he's kind of gone mainstream, sure. He hangs out with Martha Stewart and all that stuff. And maybe some have forgotten who this guy is, where he comes from. Oh, Greg Kelly, never recite rap lyrics again. You sound crazy. You, yo, you sound crazy, yo. You don't even know how to say the rap lyrics right, Greg Kelly. Damn, bro. For instance, all you N-words out there, take your guns that you using to shoot each other and start shooting these blank, 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 MFing police. That'll impress a MFer like me. Okay, Snoop, gotcha. And here through the city with a Glock in a Range Rove. If you sleeping, probably not with the same Ho, oh, I won't continue, all right? You get the idea. Not gonna lie to you, Greg, never try to do the rap lyrics again. You sound like a kindergarten student reading a encyclopedia. You sound crazy, my guy, for real. You really out of touch, and you bugging. You bugging out. Yo, Greg Kelly, I, I watch your show. I like your show a lot, you know? So, yo, Greg Kelly, you posted up Snoop Dogg with a Dr. Dre cover. And you saying he makes songs like Fuck the Police. I, I think you were saying that, but Snoop don't sing Fuck the Police. Snoop sing 187 on the Undercover Cop. And uh, you got to understand, we got, that was based, that was a soundtrack to a movie called 187, which was about killing the Undercover Cop, brother. Y'all got to do y'all homework and y'all histories. Don't attack the legendary Snoop Dogg and mix him into this BS. Snoop and them was kicking that shit back in the days, but they wasn't encouraging people to do that. They was totally the opposite way. Snoop is not from the generation of people that destroyed this culture. You know what I mean? Because Snoop, like, Snoop got bad songs. And he got good songs, you know. Snoop is a balanced artist, you know. And he a legend in his culture. Now, the culture is where the culture at now. I can't agree with the culture now. And artists like Snoop Dogg is not to blame. He is himself is a victim, you know what I mean? He himself is a victim. And, you know, when it come down to street music, people is just telling you about the world that they live in. That's what y'all got to understand. Y'all don't live in that world. And a lot of people is interested in that world that these people live in. That's and they and they and they so artistic with where they live in that and they in their situation. So that's why people love hip hop music. Greg Kelly, I watch your show. I, I love your show. You're a patriot, but you fucked up. Attacking the Snoop Doggy Dog, and believe it or not, Snoop ain't gonna go up there and do no 187 on an undercover cop and all that. He gonna go up there and do gin and juice and um Snoop Doggy Dog. He gonna do the the soft call radio song. So for you to get up there and um attack the NFL, you looking like the cancel culture. You trying to make people cancel the NFL, bro? You don't even supposed to be doing that. I understand, like, you know, I want to see good old American, um, good old American NFL day, the American flag, but we we going to get the national anthem and we going to get all that stuff, I hope. But I understand your point of view, but going after Snoop, the big doggy dog, I think that's a mistake. You can't do that, Greg Kelly. You tripping, you wilding, you bugging. But you trying to say that... Snoop Doggy Dog is going to go up there and do 30-year-old songs that he don't do no more, which was a soundtrack to the, a movie. And then you mixing them up with Dr. Dre, who made Fuck the Police. And the other song was based off a soundtrack to a movie, brother. So you got to uh, get your litigations right, Mr. Greg Kelly. And you still my guy, I watch your show. You 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 but right here, I ain't gonna lie, I noticed that what y'all gotta do, what y'all what y'all gotta do in the Republicans is don't even comment on this race shit. We know everybody know what the Democrats is doing and how they're using all of the race to 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 destroy the country and they making that they're using racism as a uh 
a, a, a fusion point to gain support for the agenda. We understand that. We don't need y'all to tell us. And even your people, your people know that. The white people know that. The people, the smart, intelligent people know that. So for you to get y'all, Fox and uh, Newsmax has been lately falling victim to trying to defend against the bigotry that the back, the black ideology is being that's being pushed. Like, you know what I mean? Going against critical race theory, going against that. Y'all doing a great job and y'all need to. But don't get caught up with talking about uh like this is what I'm talking about. When when black people, then we'll give y'all examples. Like for instance, this is how y'all get caught on major news networks. So say when a black person do a crazy crime like the dude drove dude that shit was crazy and nobody liked it that nobody liked it that he drove dude the uh parade and hit all of those people killed him don't keep showing that clip six months later seven months later and then talk about uh, a convicted felon and this and that and he shouldn't have been don't do that because we know that already and that's how y'all it's like, you know what I mean? Like, like they forcing y'all to try to, sh- sh- to show y'all racist and y'all coming across as racist. So when what y'all doing is don't show it when it's old information. When it's new and it just happened, report it as if it just happened. And it ain't about race. It's just about the people. Don't report it like a black man went and pushed a Chinese woman on the subway. That's what y'all doing. And then y'all bring it, okay, if that happened, you can bring it up today. Don't wait two, three weeks later and then put all of them in a collage, talking about showing all of the black people doing all of these horrendous things. And nah, because y'all not really that racist. It looked like y'all racist because y'all showing all of the clips to defend what y'all stand for. But when at the same time, y'all falling victim to people that don't understand what y'all trying to do. And y'all coming off as people who's trying to accuse all of these people, um, accuse these people for being, like, you know what I mean? Like, black people is bad or whatever the case is. But y'all falling for the bait. Y'all got to stop falling for the bait. And I'm going to end this video talking to my boy Greg Kelly. Don't get caught out there again and make this horrible mistake. This is horrible journalism. Boy, you, I'm not used to you doing horrible journalism. You misfired here, buddy.